back it up pretty well. I agree with that, man. Let's see how he does on this Akai. We've technically seen him on the Akai before. So yes, we have seen Bersing on the Akai. Was he a, the best Akai? Maybe not. Let's take a look at the emblems, though, for everyone. A lot of assassin emblems for the side of Geek Fan, man. For our Q, it's a bit more diverse. A lot of wilderness out there. And it's gonna be the decider whether Geek Fam can still keep their upper bracket hope alive versus RRQ. It's gonna be tough for RRQ if they lose this one. They need to bank on winning against Dewa United on the final day, the final match, by the way. But I do wanna say, Arashi. We had a discussion backstage before the match started about the, the wilderness. Mm -hmm. I said the mid laners will get so much more value, and the roamers too, with the power of wilderness. And right now we're seeing it, right? A boy and Clay have both gone for it. When you want to roam around, when you want to actually have impact elsewhere, aside from your lane, that talent becomes so much more important. And already Beloisky forced a flicker like in game number one. But it's a different situation right here. RRQ, they are a lot more oppressive, but they won't get that Lethal Wanderer. Nothing for their Wilderness. I think a boy benefits more from it than Clay because the distance covered will be much more for a boy. He's an Ovaria. He doesn't really have a lot of escape skills. So that uh, a lot of times he has to take the long route to get to the mid lane or clear the lanes or even gank from uh, to the side lanes. I think it all comes down to what you were trying to do, right? For a boy, the wave clear makes it that he wants to go very quickly to the side lanes to try and threaten the gank, the poke damage as well. For Clay, it's more direct, right? You have a Valentina, you have more burst damage to supplement a gank, and you can steal ultimates as well. So for now, I think a boy will still get more value out of it. But I think in the mid game, right? With RQ, it's always about that mid game. Well, okay. for Geek Fam, it's about the early game so far. Look at the damage onto that turret. Like you mentioned, man, this matchup shouldn't actually favor the Bruno so much anymore, but with the help of Rafa, it does. <laughs> Look at the movement speed from Angela, man. As Clay secures the level 4 to prepare for the team fight, he stole the ultimate from a boy. The Astral Echo will be able to expose everyone. Can Fairstick win out with a heavy spin, though? Heavy spin into a penalty zone right there. Oh. And what? It's a boy who takes it away. First blood by Banana, though. Able to make Nile slip. That's a very unfortunate, man. Even with the heavy spin, turns out that it will be able to play, but look! Beautiful Raging Sandstorm into an Astral Sphere. Clay flickering out a boy, though, chasing him down. Wants to use that Astral Meteor, waiting for the right time. But he's just gonna go for the turret gold, the turret plates in the mid lane. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Chadera here. Actually, with trading the trade even there. And then gets the regen. Now he jumps back in with a heavy crossbow already used by Skyler. He's able to dish out a bit more. A boy coming down, Astral Sphere barely, barely connecting there. Bit of a day job in the gold lane. Chatera winning it out in the battle against Kyler, but he won on that gold bug though. As first second Nile took it out. Okay, now he's gonna go for the full stacks. The Holy Baptism locks Fairsick down just for a moment. Heavy spin still ready. Nile unable to connect on that taunt. And we'll just go for the lethal wanderer instead as an Astral Sphere connects again onto Fairsick, taking him low. I do feel like for now, RRQ is definitely behind, but not by too much. And the longer the game goes, I do think that RRQ has a bit more of a solid teamfight composition, and now they make a play for Boloisky! Ooh! Two heavy skills, the crossbow and the spin, but Boloisky just flickers out of it. It's too light on his feet, escapes from it, but RRQ, they want to try and get something, they oh. might get punished for it. Bersic locked down by the taunt right now. The Holy Baptism locked down as well. The penalty zone onto four by Banana, but Janera is still able to escape. Beloy will fall as Skyler gets the hard guard to help him. Look at Naomi on top of him. I've never seen this before, by the way. The Angela HP bar hovering over Skyler? Yeah, that's, Maybe that's part of the patch. But yeah, Banana winning it out on the rotation versus Luke. Even though he's a Khalid, in terms of like wave clear, he's pretty much even. With Theresa, I think Luke has to realize where to, uh, where to mirror Banana, where to catch up in the team fight. But Nael, knowing that you already kind of lost the first battle of the Turtle versus First Six, still pushes on the tempo. And they're going for Banana this time around. Little damage. Holy Baptism forced to be committed. Banana is just walking them down, getting some healing as well as a heavy spin comes out. And Versic this time is able to secure it for the team. Nael escaping. Luke getting some HP, but now gets bonked by the hammer of Banana. He jumps in. 
in desperation and loses his life. RQ are looking for more into the enemy jungle. Fairstick goes. Niall trying to go for it. Fraser's Rad not getting it, but he will be able to get that first skill in to secure it. Okay, Niall has to be a bit more calculated for this approach, man. Like, wh what's the plan after going to that lower pit or like turtle pit? Fairstick has to have his spin. Like, what's the next plan? You're gonna get stunned all right away. I think there's nothing that Niall can do solo. He needs to rely on the team overall to do something. But RRQ, in this mid game, they're trying to group S5, and that is where they are strongest. But with Clear out of the picture, well, is Fersic just too difficult? Nah, he will be pushed away by Geek Fan. And I think the main power side for RRQ right now is definitely in that EXP lane. Whenever Banana is involved, things just go their way. 3 is 0 0 for this guy. 3 is 3 0 0 for Banana. Very, very good early game. As you can see in the gold difference too, already winning out in the gold as well, courtesy of that three kills. On the other hand, Skylar doing a lot better right now, still ahead in gold compared to Kadera. Kadera, but now, oh, he gets jumped on. Holy baptism, but that's a DPC to peel them off. Beautifully done by Banana. A raging sandstorm stolen by Clay with IMU. And Skylar just guns them Ooh. down. A boy's next to the chopping block. The focusing oh. block blocks him down. He walks out of the map with the Astral Recon. Naomi's not able to find the final shot. RQ putting their focus now into the mid lane for the rotation. But Luke is able to clear out this mid wave. Play with a splash of damage and Geek Fam with a big loss in that team fight. Oh, Ooh. I think Geek Fam very much didn't see that Akai was there as Banana. Might be in trouble. Taunt it up. Baptism, that's a chain lockdown with a raging sandstorm as well. Wow, Banana oh, wow. took so much and even was able to get that penalty zone. But now Chidera has a shutdown. It's a big shutdown. So a bit of a swing in gold, but 2k gold lead for RRQ still. And man, this Raphaela Irithal combo, we called it out in the drafting phase, but it is nasty, man. And Geekman has nothing to deal with it. Me and Mirko personally, by the way, we have suffered at the hand of this combination before. Yeah, it is Irithal Angela. It's, it's what brutal, made me swap, man. bro. It's so brutal. Ooh, and now wow. they're trying to go for a boy. We'll see it brutal again. <laughs> Skyler just walks up without a care in the world because he always has that hard guard to back him up. If he even gets caught. But the flank though from Fursig just appeared out of the bamboo groove, out of the bush of Geek Fam. Twice right away. Kung Fu Panda, man. Yeah. Well, he's a solo right now. Nile and Luke will be able to push him away, but with Banana in the picture, things are different. But Geek Fam, we've seen this before, man. If they all go for Banana, he's not tanky enough for a 1v5 just yet. Another thing that we have to realize from Geek Fam, like, it's never over. It's never over, even though Bolojski made the heaviest blunder, biggest blunder you could ever imagine. They can still somehow turn it around. You know what's kind of funny? This game, for Geek Fam, what they need to be careful of is Bananas Peel and also his engage! What an engage into a Rage Sandstorm, but Luke finds the back leg, gets punished. Chidera now pinned down to the wall with a heavy crossbow, has the oh. healing from Beloyski, he's able to outplay the situation as Banana gets shot down by the footballs of Chidera. Now going in to the bottom lane, looking for a turret, they've won a 3v3! Wow, huge value! for uh, Beloyski and crew, and they're looking for more turret as well. First thing, I don't think he can defend this, unless Banana is coming to play too. It's all about that Kung Fu. He is the Dragon Warrior. He has that tankiness for sure, man, absorbing all of it. But RRQ, they have to deal with this oh strat from God. Geek Fam. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow! That is some damage, man. Geek Fam, they only get value when they are separated, but when you have the Aerithel really starting to snowball like this, along with a and Angela and Sprint to boot. It's going to be very difficult for Geek Fam to try and go for a split play without someone getting punished and completely run down by this Irithel. They have to make use of the Rafaela, right? The second skill with the healing, with the movement speed boost as well. Disengaging and grouping up first to gain more advantage. To waste the resource of RQ might be the way to go, but Niall. Heavy spin into a heavy oh. crossbow. Skyler with a hard guard now helped down. Niall with a three man taunt. Able to go in for the appraiser's round, but it's dodged away from by Skyler, who's now walking him down. Beloisky looking for the healing, but it's not enough. Luke finds a raging no sandstorm into the sphere. Skyler gets shut down. Chidera free hitting in the back right now, taking Clay out. Banana with a penalty zone in the front. Beloisky still able to survive. Now, 3v3. Chidera walking up. The Dragon Warrior is getting shut down by Chidera and a boy. Walking out, dashing away. Naomi providing some solid healing. Who won? 
I think RRQ definitely won right there. Getting the objective, making sure that they can force Geek Fam into 5v5s once more. They're trying to go for the mid turret, we'll get it as well. But for RRQ now, they can get even more than that using the Lord, using the empowered waves. Unless they make a huge, huge blunder, I think for RRQ, it's gonna be quite straightforward. But they have to make sure that Skylar doesn't over-engage right there. We have seen that he can be taken down. He is definitely not immortal in this game. Geekfam has damage. Geekfam has damage, but RQ has the peel, has the engage from Banana. He can do it both as a Tarizla. It has to be the nightmare that the Geekfam has to realize, Ooh. has to counter. Look because at they have no Purify right now, Rashi, compared to the previous game. The yeah, lack of purifies is definitely a problem. It doesn't seem to think that it's necessary, but Banana right now is the main big problem. And it's, it's always a Terizla in a team fight, right? By all means. Kersik now fails to get that purple buff, but overall, structures are falling. But RRQ, they're gonna back away right here. They're gonna push the tempo wow. and try and get one of the other tier twos. That's a, that is peculiar. Uh. This is a pretty much best case scenario for Giga Miracle. Yeah. I need to mention this, right? Because I've been trying the Bruno after the nerfs. I'm really curious as to if the nerves actually impacted him. Because looking at the nerves, it's just base damage in a skill one, right? It doesn't feel like it's a big nerf, but it's actually quite a big nerf. He's no longer as oppressive in the early game, all the way to the mid game. But still, that late game is the same. He will still melt you down. And right now, like you mentioned, Sheffin, Geek Fam, this is going to be good for them. They're buying so much more time for Chidera to get his items. He's already on the Berserker's Fury. Is on the way to go for Milfic Roar, I believe? Or is that... What is that, Arashi? Is he going for... Huh. POD? No way. It's definitely Malefic. Yeah. If you're trying to shut Skylar down, it could be the BOD. But now RRQ brute forcing the bot turret. I, I thought they were going to do this a bit earlier, oh, just okay, now. Yes. But turns oh, out... It's, it's a slower process for RRQ. And they're still trying to find something, but man, Geek Fam, they can't really do much right there. Even if they do catch Ferrisic, they don't really have the kind of damage to try and take him down. If they use Chidera that aggressively, he is prone to getting punished by the penalty zone, by the heavy crossbow as well. So overall, it's just a tough situation. And a Malefic War, turns out, is what Chidera mm, has whoa. built to deal with Banana and Ferrisic. But finally, a steal for the Dragon Warrior. No retreat, but I don't think that's gonna matter in this team fight as first is gonna track down the Lord towards his side to his advantage. As well as the, and as an Akai, we've seen this over and over again against a veteran. If he has the heavy spin, it's over. But it's pretty much not a 50 50 anymore. I don't even wanna go for the contest. Look at that. No retreat, no problem for a boy. RRQ. A boy? It's absolutely no. <laughs> free. Skylar is the one who takes it. Twilight armor built up by Fairsick. Oh, we're trying to deal with the big crit with the uh, Astrosphere as well. He goes for Beloisky though. Not enough Ooh. Ooh. flashy happy feet from Beloisky, but that was peculiar. No real follow-up was available, yet he goes for it. I think it's a good decision because he wants to burn the flicker right away from Beloisky. The next time he has the heavy spin, I think the lore is going to crash down towards the top lane and the resource is going to have... Oh, Milk in trouble! Oh, wow! Ooh. Ends up being a good play. They wasted big ultimates. That looked like a blunder. But Clay, I think that just might be it for RRQ to crack this space open. But it's an Astro Echo into a Sphere. Play taken down to a quarter of his HP. Bruno still struggling with that damage, but the Astro Meteor will help him wow. with that. Look at this no crash. Say goodbye to the Lord. Even with two ultimates down, they're unable to find any base turrets so far. Just a tier two in the mid lane, and even the bottom lane should be cleared out by Geek Fam. Immaculate defense from Geek Fam just Knowing that Beloisky's potential, the movement speed boost just does so much for Geek Fam against RRQ, especially against Persic that I think he's, he's a bit more careful now with this engage because it's a big resource and against Beloisky against Adera, which has almost full item right now, it's gonna be hard for them. And they're using a boy very efficiently right here, clearing the waves from as far as possible and denying any kind of surprise play from RRQ. I do feel like with all, so many ultimates burned earlier, I thought RRQ would go for a fight right there. But I guess they want to play it slow and steady. No go for any dives at all and just wait for the next Lord. There's it go. Holy Baptism locked down. Astro Echo as well. Fairsick holding on to the heavy spin because he knows there is a hard guard to help him. Not to whirl these. Ooh, spot. that low go! He misses it! The heavy spin locks him back down. Nile now pinned down, but RRQ decides to run away. Geek Fam decides to try to chase. But in the end, 
They do not want to commit. Maybe with a bit more of that holy healing, with a bit more poke, they will try to commit onto this. Look at Skylar. That is very weird, Arash. You think that RRQ has the upper hand with 4k gold lead, but Kickfam is pretty much handling all the fights. RRQ just responded at that time. I think RRQ, they, have, they just don't want to try and overextend and overaggress, right? If everything goes as planned as default, without anyone getting caught off, anyone getting dove on and bursted down by Geekfam, I think RRQ will definitely have the advantage. So they're playing for the next Lord. They're trying to ensure that Skylar doesn't really get taken out. I think the main ultimate to, take a, to pay attention to is that penalty zone. It has such a huge impact in the fight. It forces everyone to deal with Banana, who is so, so tanky as of right now. So if that is used up, you can bet that Geek Fam will take that as a sign that it's time to go and engage in a fight. They're setting up for a 4-1 split, but look at Clay. Oh, no flicker. I think it's also pretty much the same thing for Skylar, right? He has to watch out for the Raging Sandstorm. Over and over again, Luke has been trying to target him with that flicker as well. Banana versus Luke. This is the battle of the XP laners with their engage. This is dangerous, folks. Clay doesn't have that flicker. Could be a tool to utilize to follow up with an engage. He stole the Raging Sandstorm, so that flicker is actually quite big. 90 seconds on that battle spell. Meanwhile, a boy is poking Banana down. Look at him. Already at half HP, and Geek Fam have the top lane cleared out. That's a holy bat, doesn't lock him down. Verisic waiting for the heavy spin, now pins Nile down, but he's gonna get too low. The Astro Echo comes down with the appraisers, Brad to the red tree as well. Banana in the back as the Raging Sandstorm gets used up defensively. Nile gonna be locked down and taken out. RQ getting a 1 for 0. Clay gets caught in the holy baptism and even an Astral Sphere. 1 for 1, Lord for kill. Lord Definitely. for kill, but there's no frontliners right now. RQ is trying to push off the issue on the mid lane. No penalty zone though, it's gonna be a bit too ambitious I think. Especially with a boy uh -oh. on the Navaria still up. He's gonna try and do something. I think the best they can do is clear the Lord. And even then, it's, only, it's a 4v5, but with the Lord in power, it's gonna be a bit dangerous for RRQ. The poking from Geek has been winning them their team fights, man. Fair Six has been poked down, Banana was poked down here earlier now. There's an Astral Echo revealing three in the bottom lane. They don't know where Banana is, but I think Luke has just spotted him. Now they can decide to completely commit to take a tier 2 down. Astral Spheres just dodged away from by RRQ. They're dealing with the Lord quite well. The whole oh. Lord is though. Skylar taking low Luke in the back, but he's not able to find it. Skylar still has the hard guard. He's able to sustain with the help of a heavy spin from Fairsick. And that's two for RRQ. Big mistake right now from Kickfam, especially from Luke. Even that Lance, I don't think there's going to be much follow up from Kickfam as they're way too far. Two members down, especially without Beloisky. Geek fam, they are like prone to getting engaged wow. right now. Nile, no mobility left right here. Might get jumped on, but Persic does not find him. Uh -oh. And Persic actually stole the orange buff away from Chadera. Man, Man uh, what what a, what a back and forth right here. RRQ though, where is this? Where is the aggression? Even when they had all the control, when they were doing the split push using Naomi on the other side of the map, they weren't the ones pulling the trigger. Uh -oh. The penalty zone was used so, so late, but now it might be a different situation. It's a taunt. Perisic. Going to be brought back just a bit, but it's a base turret. Traded for free. RQ takes it and will walk away from the base happy. They are happy with the trade. It's only a tier 2 uptown for... Oh, base turret. Worth it for RQ. Big item for Skylar against Luke. Even if he gets into that Raging Sandstorm and manage to catch Skylar, which doesn't have Purify, by the way. He still has that win of nature to dodge all the damage away from the first kill, and the hard guard is still there to cover him up. Things will be much harder for Geek Fam. I think they're gonna rely on a boy to pretty much control the team fight or like have a say on should we go or not, because he has to be the one who's chucking up all the HP away from RQ before the fight begins. I feel like RQ need to target Poloiski, man. Without Hello? the Rafaela, Geek Fam, there's no way that they can outmaneuver RRQ, especially with the big penalty zone landing. Banana goes for the Athena right now, but Beloisky, as Ooh. we talk, as we're talking about it. Wait, 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 that's a hard guard used up. Eight seconds for the Lord. Yes, it's a flecker for Beloy, but it's also a sprint for Skyler. Oh my Lord. Resource battle. All right, Arashi, who's it worth for? I think overall, it's still better for RRQ. No flicker on Beloisky means that they're more vulnerable. And with Naomi not splitting, the wave is pushing on the top side. So now the poke from a boy is still nullified by the healing from Naomi. This might be the exact situation that RRQ have been waiting for. 
But there's Good no hot card. It's risky, but they're going for it. Ooh. Oh, he misses. Banana misses. Oh. But Janera misses the flicker as well. Now, able to flicker out of the wall right there. That's what's going oh. on. the world. He, into the rage. He says score. But Versic saves the team. Not for long. Janera gets them all. With no hard guard. RRQ ball. One by one. It's a double for Tadera. Welcome to Geek's Chad era. Four for one. Sometimes you just gotta have luck on your side, man. The Lord was the MVP on that team fight. And right now the Lord doesn't matter whatsoever. Kick Fam is trying to end the game right here, right now. It's only Naomi. How is Naomi going to defend this on an Angela? It's an Astral Echo. It's everything at the kitchen sink thrown at our kill. Geek Fam's hopes and dreams of the upper brackets is still alive. Oh. What did you see Arashi at that time? The Lord just knocks up four people of RQ, like three people in the air. And look, knowing that the Lord is on their side, just responded beautifully on their raging sandstorm. Breed of nature, doesn't matter. Hardcore, doesn't matter. Which is, there's just way too much things to deal with at that point. They just clumped together way too much, man. Against the composition of Geek Fam with all the combos available, they just completely mis misjudged that. They were in a rush to follow up on the penalty zone. They failed to do so, and they paid the very heavy price of losing that guaranteed ticket to the upper bracket slot. Oh, what a fight by Geek Fam. Absolutely phenomenal. They have fumbled so many times, and we all thought that their upper bracket run might end today, but Geek Fam, they're saying.